Hello! Sabe de uma coisa? Você chegou à metade do seu curso Follow Me. A parte básica você já domina, você já viu. Agora nós vamos acrescentando coisas novas um pouquinho cada dia. Espero que você esteja muito satisfeito com o seu curso de inglês. Hoje nós estamos passando para a lição 30. Lesson 30. Lesson Olha que gostoso, metade do curso, se você tinha 60 lições para fazer, você está de parabéns. Vamos ver a primeira parte do Follow Me de hoje. Have you done those letters yet, Mary? Not yet, Mr. Davis. I'm still typing them. And have you telephoned Mr. Jackson? Yes, I phoned him a moment ago. He wasn't in his office. I'm going to phone him again in a few minutes. Good. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello. Oh. What have you done today, Francis? I've typed a lot of letters. I want the letter to Mr. Johnson. I've just typed it. Here you are. And the letter to Mr. Bailey. I haven't typed that one yet. Has Mr. Davis telephoned? No, not yet. Francis, you need a new secretary. Yes, I do. <laughs> I haven't got a secretary. Jane's gone. She's got a new job and I'm very busy. I've typed 25 letters today. Hello, Francis Matthew speaking. A party? Yes. Yes, I'll come tonight. Uh, excuse me. I'm very busy now. Goodbye. I need a new secretary today. Olha só. What have you done? O que, que você fez? Esse tempo de verbo nós não temos em português. É o presente, present perfect. Uma coisa que você começou a fazer numa certa hora e continua fazendo até agora. Isso é um dos, uma das formas de usar o present perfect. Está no quadro, veja só. What have you done? O que você fez? Em português você diz no passado, o que você fez. Em inglês, present perfect. Está escrito aqui quando foi? Não. Não está mencionado nem yesterday, nem last week. É no passado, mas não está mencionado o tempo. Usamos o verbo have como auxiliar e o participio passado do verbo to do. What have you done? O que você fez? Repeat. What have you done? What have you done? Good. I've typed. Esse I've é I have. I have typed. I have typed a lot of letters. Um monte de cartas. Eu datilografei um monte de cartas. I've typed a lot of letters. Repeat. I've typed a lot of letters. Very good. I haven't. Olha a negativa. I've passou para I haven't. I haven't typed that one yet. I haven't typed... That one yet. Ainda não datilografei aquela. I haven't typed that one yet. Repeat. I haven't typed that one yet. Yet. Ainda não. Ainda não. Yet quer dizer ainda, mas é usado na negativa. Ainda não. I haven't got a secretary. I haven't got... A secretary. I haven't got a secretary. I haven't got, eu não tenho. I haven't got a secretary. Come on, repeat. I haven't got 
a secretary. Very good. Mais uma frase para você. Has, essa já é uma interrogativa. Has Mr. Davis... Has Mr. Davis telephoned? Ou só phoned, também serve. Has Mr. Davis telephoned? Repeat. Has Mr. Davis telephoned? Come on. Has Mr. Davis telephoned? Very good. Tá vendo? O present perfect entrando aí no seu cabedal de conhecimentos de inglês. Vamos continuando com o follow me? Where's Francis? He's still at the office. Where's Diana? She's in the kitchen. She's cleaning the glasses. Diana, have you cleaned the glasses yet? Have you cleaned the glasses yet? I've cleaned a lot. I've cleaned a lot. I'm still cleaning them. I'm still cleaning them. I've just cleaned another one. I've just cleaned another one. What's happened? What have you done, Diana? I've broken some glasses. <laughs> I always break things. Olha só. I've just cleaned them. I've just cleaned them. Acabo de lavá-los. Acabo de fazer alguma coisa. Essa é uma outra forma de usar esse tempo de verbo que nós estamos vendo hoje, o present perfect. Então, a gente vê o primeiro. A ação acontece no passado e continua. O tempo não está mencionado. E agora a ação acabou de acontecer. Vou colocar no quadro. Veja. I've cleaned a lot. I've cleaned a lot. I've, olha o verbo have aqui, I've cleaned a lot, I've cleaned a lot, I've cleaned a lot of glasses, repeat, I've cleaned a lot of glasses, very good, mais uma, esta é outro tempo, I'm cleaning, outro tempo de verbo, o que, que é este aqui? I am é o verbo to be. Aqui era o verbo have. Olha o ing aqui. Está acontecendo agora. I'm cleaning them. Estou a lavá-los, como diria em Portugal. Estou a lavá-los. Estou lavando os copos. I'm cleaning them. Repeat. I'm cleaning them. Muito bom. E agora aquele... Que aconteceu neste momento. I've just cleaned them. I've just cleaned them. Acabo, just, é neste momento, acabo de lavá-los. I've just cleaned them. Repeat. I've just cleaned them. Very good. Vai ficando mais fácil à medida que você vai repetindo mais e mais vezes. Por isso que eu acho que Follow Me deve ser assistido mais de uma vez cada programa. Continue com o nosso vídeo. Here are your letters, Mr. Davis. Thanks, Mary. I've telephoned Mr. Jackson again, but he's still not in his office. It doesn't matter. I'll phone him later. Where are you going on holiday next year? I don't know. Have you been to Germany? Yes, I've had a holiday in Germany. I went there a year ago. What about Spain? I've already been there. Have you been to Portugal? No, not yet. I've never been to Portugal. Olha só, é fácil quando você mora na Europa e passa férias na Alemanha, passa férias na Itália. Hum, muito bom para eles. Vamos ao quadro que eu tenho coisas anotadinhas para você. Veja bem. I've had a holiday in Germany. I've é o auxil... esse V aqui é have. É o auxiliar para fazer o present perfect. Had é o verbo da frase. Então, eu tive férias, a holiday in German. Eu tive férias na Alemanha. Eu tirei férias e fui para a Alemanha. I've had a holiday in Germany. Repeat. I've had a holiday in Germany. Very good. I went. Aqui o passado simples. Eu fui quando? A year ago. 
está mencionado o tempo aqui. Quando o tempo está mencionado, você usa o past, I went. Aqui não estava mencionado o tempo. Fala que eu fui, mas não diz quando. Aqui está mencionado. I went there a, a year ago. Quando foi? A year ago. I went there a year ago. Repeat. I went there a year ago. Very good. I've already been to Spain. Eu já estive na Espanha. I have been. I have been. Eu estive. Already, já. I've already been to Spain. Repeat. I've already been to Spain. Esse é present perfect de novo. E aqui, na pergunta, have you been to Portugal? Have you been to Portugal? Come on. Have you been to Portugal? Good. No, I've never been to Portugal. I have. I have never. Nunca. I have never been to Portugal. No, I have never been to Portugal. Oh, I've never been to Portugal. Repeat. No, I've never been to Portugal. Então, revisando. Veja. I've had. Tive férias na Alemanha. I went. Eu fui. Um ano atrás. Por que aqui está no past? Porque a, a data está aqui. Quando foi que aconteceu? A year ago. Aqui. I've already been. Eu já estive. Não diz quando. Então, I've been. Have you been? Já esteve em Portugal? Não diz quando. E no, I have never been. Também não disse quando. Ok? Está fácil? Então, podemos continuar? Nós temos mais um trechinho para você do follow me. Goodbye. Sorry about that. Now, you'd like to be my secretary, Miss... Uh, Mrs... Uh... Miss Winter. Ah, yes. Miss Winter. So, you... Yes, I'd like to be your secretary. What work have you done? Well... I was a nurse for six years, and then I worked in a bank. That was a few years ago, and now I'm a secretary. How long have you been a secretary? I've been a secretary for one year, since last August. So you've been a secretary for one year. In London? No, I worked in Manchester for three months. I came to London nine months ago. So you've worked in London since last November? Right, Mr. Matthews. Excuse me. Oh, don't worry, Miss... Uh... Winter. Mabel. Winter. You've lived in London since November, and you're not married? No. Not yet. Excuse me. Hello, Francis Matthews here. It's Jane here. I telephoned you a moment ago. I've been busy. I don't like my new job. I don't like it at all. Can I come and work for you again? Yes. Yes, come back next week. Please. Aí você queria uma secretária com tique nervoso? Assim, não queria. Mas vamos ver o que a gente tem no quadro? Veja bem. How long have you been a secretary? How long, você já conhece? Há quanto tempo? Quanto tempo faz? Have you been? Só por aqui você sabe que o tempo não foi mencionado. Há quanto tempo você é o quê? A secretary. How long have you been a secretary? Repeat. How long have you been a secretary? Good. I've been a secretary. I've been a secretary for one year. For one year. Veja esse for. For é pela, pelo tempo de. Por um ano. For one year. For one year. 
since, outra palavra nova, since, quer dizer desde, since last August, since last August, desde o último agosto, desde agosto o último. Então vamos lá, I've been a secretary for one year since last August, repeat, I've been a secretary for one year since last August. Very good. Você notou. Aqui é uma pergunta. How long have you been a secretary? Notou que eu esqueci o ponto de interrogação? How long have you been a secretary? Há quanto tempo você é uma secretária? E I've been a secretary for one year desde... Since last August. Ok? Então podemos continuar? Mais um trechinho do Follow Me para você. Do you like your new job, Jane? No, I don't. What are you going to do? I'm going to work for Francis again. What? Next week. Is he here? Who? Francis? Yes, he arrived a few minutes ago. He's coming this way. Hello, Bill. Hello, Jane. I brought this for you. Thank you. Are you going to open it? Yes. I made it for you. Are you going to wear it? Uh, yes. I am going to wear it. But not now. I'm going to open another bottle of wine. I live in the next flat. When is that music going to stop? Not yet. We're having a party. Would you like to come in? Would you like some cake? I've just made it. No, thank you very much. Would you like some wine? No, thanks. Are you going to dance? No, thank you. I'll sit down here for a moment. I don't like parties. I prefer watching television. Olha só, ele sempre querendo assistir televisão. Não importa a festa, a festa para ele é ver televisão. Então vamos convidá-lo para assistir também o inglês com música, não é? Para poder dançar um pouquinho, cantar um pouquinho com a Amanda, aprender a letra da música. Tem música brasileira também no Enigma. Mas deixa eu falar uma coisa para você. Se eu fizesse um bolo e convidasse você, você comeria? Would you like some cake? Would you like some cake? Repeat. Would you like some cake? Very good. I've just made it. Acabo de fazê-lo. I've just made it. Repeat. I've just made it. Good. Podemos continuar? Follow me. been a model? For about a year. Fiasco was my first important job. And it went wrong. It was my fault. I'm sorry. Not at all. It was my fault. I broke things, fell into the water. It wasn't like a television commercial. It was like... It was like a comedy. <laughs> I'm sorry things went wrong. What will you do now? I don't know. I'd like to make a film. A film about love.
you been to Hollywood? No, but I've worked in Paris. How long were you there? I was there for a year. Have you been there? To Paris? Yes. No, I haven't. It's a wonderful place. Shall we go there? You and me? Why? Well, you're not married, are you? No. Do you mean? Yes. Will you marry me, Helen? You want to marry me? <laughs> You'd be like a commercial for fiasco. No, it won't. It'll be wonderful, Helen. Let's get married. Yes. Yes, of course I'll marry you, Mike. Darling! <laughs> oh! 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 Are you all right, Mike? Oh! oh. Hey! Be careful! Don't do that! Don't worry. I've just asked Helen to marry me. What? Marry you? Yes. Isn't it wonderful? Well, of course it's wonderful. I, I mean the fiasco commercial. That's wonderful. <laughs> yes. Uh, now then, uh, uh, you come with me. Come and have a look at it. I've got a taxi. It's waiting. Things happen to people who drink fiasco. Things happen to people who drink fiasco. Why do they have to happen to me? <laughs> Isn't that good? That will sell fiasco. <laughs> When can you make another commercial for me? Not yet, I'm afraid. No, first we're getting married. Then we're going to Paris. Oh, dear. Something will happen. Something will go wrong. Not, Not this, this time, time Mr. Mr. Grant. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, let's drink to that. Uh, yes. In this program, we learned... Have you cleaned the glasses yet? I've cleaned a lot. I'm still cleaning them. I've just cleaned another one. enjoying the party now? Yes, and I have to go, I'm afraid. But first, I'd like to hear a song. I've really enjoyed the party, but now I have to go home. I drink some wine, I've had a good time, but now I have to go. We've, we've drunk some wine and we've, we've had, had a good, good time. time. But now we have to go. It was very nice to meet you. I've had a very good time. I'd like to say what I have to say. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. We'd like to say... Você viu, você conhece essa história? A história da Dama das Camélias, Camille. E assim é que a gente vai se despedindo do Follow Me de hoje. Conto com você para a próxima aula, ok? Thank you so much. Bye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. We like to stay, but we have to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.